Hare Krishna. When associating with the saintly, seek not to download your mental negativity, but to upload their spiritual positivity. We all, in today's world, have a lot of mental negativity within us. Often, life treats us unfairly, people betray us, terrible things happen to us. Sometimes we ourselves do terrible things. And all the negativity resulting from this often gets accumulated in our minds. And we need mental relief. And sometimes when we associate with this, with saintly spiritualists, at that time, we often want to unburden ourselves. We want relief. And sometimes we may just want to download all that mental negativity, hoping that we'll get free from it, hoping that they will understand how and how much distress we are, hoping that we will get their empathy and get their get their blessings so that we can deal with all this. Now, our intent it may be good. Of course, sometimes we may also become too emotionally clingy and we may just expect people to deal with our emotional issues. Yes, people can help, but we have to deal with our emotional issues. Yes, that is, if we have some physical problems, it is we who have to live with our body. If we have a handicap, others can help us, but we have to walk. We have to deal with that handicap foremost. So similarly, our emotional issues also, it is we who have to deal with them. And just as if we have a physical handicap or a physical limitation, and we go to the saintly, they may offer us some empathy. They may offer us some understanding, affection, but we don't expect them to cure our physical handicap. Similarly, even our emotional wounds, if we focus on, go to them only to heal our emotional wounds, then we are underutilizing the potential of saintly association. Ultimately, the body and mind are prone to be wounded in this world because this world is a harsh place. And the solution is to raise our consciousness above the body and mind to the soul and ultimately to the supreme soul, to Krishna. When we become absorbed in Krishna, filled with devotion for Krishna, then we attain Krishna. And even in this world, when we are focused on loving and serving Krishna, then emotional and physical wounds don't hurt us that much. So similarly for us, if we recognize that the purpose of associating with the saintly is to elevate our consciousness. So we don't go to them and dump or download all our emotional negativity. Think, I have this problem, I have that problem, or this person did like this, that person did like that. No, we focusing on, we should focus on and strive to take in their spiritual positivity. They see everything in relationship with Krishna. They want to glorify Krishna. They want to relish the glories of Krishna and they want to help others relish the glories of Krishna. And that is life's supreme perfection. So, it is by becoming absorbed in Krishna that we can transcend all physical and emotional wounds. So, if we have serious emotional issues, there are professionals like psychologists and, uh, who can, whom we can consult. But we go to spiritualists to grow spiritually. So, in the Bhagavad Gita in 10.9, Krishna describes what is done in spiritual association. He says it is, Machitta madgata prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayanta shyama nityam tushyanti charamanti cha Machitta madgata prana that the saintly, the, the, the devoted, they always think of me, their life is devoted to me and when they meet each other, they delight in discussing about me, in enlightening each other in my glories. So, that is the standard in which we, sh we should seek to associate with the saintly. To the extent we seek that standard, to that, to that extent, we will find ourselves enriched spiritually and equipped with inner strength to face our physical and emotional issues and ultimately march towards Krishna for the eternal transcendental joy thereby. Thank you. Hare Krishna.